In this video, I'll show you how I built these four small modern loading racks from Walther's with my two big hands. I can do this. Okay, let's begin. Scalpel. Sponge. Thank you. Glue. Tweezers. Water. Light. Careful. I need more time. Careful. Success. Hi everyone and welcome to another kit build video. This Walters kit had the smallest pieces I've ever seen. It really felt like I was in an operating room. One false move and... The good thing is, this kit came with four loading racks, so I figured I could screw up at least three times and still have a good chance of making one good model. As always, I cut, sanded, and sorted all the pieces. I put the really small pieces in this container. First step, glue support beam to base. I like to paint my pieces before gluing them. I'm not set up for spray painting, so I use acrylics and a small brush. I use the gray paint to mimic a concrete color. Next part, paint the handrails and glue them to the deck. I use a shiny silver paint to give a metallic look and bright yellow for the railings. The prototype photos I found have similar paint schemes. These small pieces weren't easy to paint and required several coats. You'll notice that I used a piece of tape to hold my parts in place. Not the best method, but it worked for me. If you're new to the hobby and are wondering why I'd paint a gray piece of plastic gray, let me tell you why. The obvious reason is, is that I guess rid of that plastic look. Secondly, decals stick way better to painted surfaces. And lastly, and the most important reason, is because everyone else does it. And here are the completed platform decks in natural light. Step two, glue gangway deck to front handrail. I'll just, um, nope. What if I, nope. Uh, let's see, uh, forget it. I'm gonna skip ahead and glue the gangway arms to the gangway deck. There we go. Now I can paint this and glue it to the deck like so. As you can see in the Walters model, they painted their arms red, so I did the same, using this primary red. The problem is, these arms are extremely small, and I don't have a brush small enough to paint them. So, I texted my brother Mike, the other M, who paints small things all the time, and he recommended that I use a pick, something that you clean your teeth with. Hmm, okay. So that didn't turn out too well, but using the other end worked just fine. Thanks for the tip, Mike. A scrap piece of styrene or a real toothpick works just as well. Once the paint dried, I glued the assembly to the platform deck. This was much easier, in my opinion. Ooh, look how pretty they are in the sunlight. Now for the tricky part. I have to glue these identical pieces together. I place a dab of glue on each peg and then dropped the other piece on top. Hoping the pegs match, uh, yes, nailed it. Once all four were glued and dried, I painted them bright yellow and glued them to the arms and then glued the entire platform to the support beam. I had already painted the stairs metallic and railings yellow. Assembly was quite simple. And there we go, four handsome loading racks that are somewhat sturdy. And now for the, nope, 
Smaller details. So this is the part where you have to decide if you want loading racks or unloading racks or both. And I went with two of each. And I do apologize for the lack of video for the next couple of steps, but I was really in the thick of things and I didn't get a chance to set my tripod. But the intro should give you a good sense of how difficult it was for me to glue these small pieces with these big hands. Here is the assembly for the unloading option. There are six pieces all together here. The instructions say to glue the valve to the base first, but I chose to assemble the entire thing separately and then glue it to the base. For the loading option, I did the same thing. I put all the pieces together first and then attached it to the base. This was a bit trickier because you have to support the main pipe to the platform with a bracket. I just made sure to slip on the bracket before gluing on the end pieces. This is my makeshift drying rack. Using True Blue, I painted some of the pipes and here are the results. Two loading and two unloading assemblies. If you know why the pipes are blue, please leave a comment because I have no idea. Here is a close up look at the rack with the loading option. You can see where I glued the bracket to the platform. Now that all four structures are assembled, it's time for my specialty, weathering. Whether you like it or not, it's time to weather with Mark. I like to use the dry brush technique when I weather. I put a little bit of black paint on my brush and wiped off the excess. I then painted the areas that would be well used. The bottom of the stairs, the stairs themselves, the top of the railings, and areas where employees would stand a lot. Next, I took my burnt sienna to paint on some rust spots. I chose areas where water might settle, especially in all the joints. Oh yeah, this one is ready for the layout. Last step, paint the catch basins. These will go on the track directly below the safety cages. I might weather these, but I'll leave them black for now. Perfect. As you can see, I still have some work to do, but I really like these models and the loading racks look great on my layout. I hope this video gave you some ideas for your own kit builds, or maybe now you know what not to do. I want to thank Chris for this kit and I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, wear a mask and cake tear. Two down, two to go. <laughs>